I said at the opening of the show, there's never been a greater star in opera than this lady. She's an incomparable coloratura soprano. Ladies and gentlemen, Lily Pons. I can't tell you how thrilled I am well, you I'm chose my show. Thank you. Well, you know, I almost look at your show almost every day. If it's possible, in Dallas, it's 3.30, it's difficult. Uh, but in Palm Springs, 8.30 suits me very well, and I never miss it. You're on the move. Yeah. Uh, and you're sometimes back in France. Oh, every summer, I go to, with my family. I go in the French Riviera. I don't think any of us who ever saw you in an opera house, we'll ever forget you as long as we live. Well, I have always do my best, and I love the people. You were the wildest looking opera star I ever saw. <laughs> Fantastic. Because we were so used to seeing. I kidded Beverly Sills the other day. I, I once saw in San Francisco, I'm sure you remember her, Elizabeth Rutger. Yeah. It was a beautiful voice. Yeah, beautiful. But, uh, huge enormous, voice. enormous. Yeah. And she was doing great. And it's not necessary, you know, if the fat don't give go you a good voice. A voice is projection. I was 98 pounds all my career. Now I need, I'm a little bad because, you know, I don't, I'm not sick every four times a week like to sing, you know, right. because I'm always sick stomach and all that when I'm singing. And... Um, Are you that nervous? When, when today? You oh, la, la. And yesterday, I can't keep anything. Oh. Do you want to stand and hold you? And I don't know why I'm here. Oh. <laughs> no, I joke. I, I, uh, that's the most delicate voice of all, isn't it? The coloratura. Well, uh, yes, because you see, it's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a very fine... Um, if you are a contralto and you are tired, or a mezzo-soprano or a big soprano, you, you are can tired, you, you can't, you can't hear very well. But uh, coloratura soprano is just, it must be just, you know, just like that, you know, like bell. Yes. Yes. And there's no faking the color at your No, voice. you can't. When you're way up there. Yes, uh, yes. You're all alone. Yes. You gave a concert recently in Palm Springs and you gave Last a, year. And you gave a concert in New in York. In New York with Andre Castellanet. Yes. Yes. And you know, I wait three months thinking if I was doing it because he said, you must come to New York again and sing with the Philharmonic. And three months. And finally I said, okay, I'm going. <coughs> And you got the same rave reviews yes, you got when you were singing beautiful. every single? Just beautiful, yes. Well, I guess an extraordinary voice Thank never you. leaves uh, an extraordinary Well, you must song. have also, the, 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 you must have a life with discipline, because there's a lot of discipline in that uh, career. But do you regret a life of discipline? Mm, no, I was disciplined all my life, and I maintain my discipline now. For example, I, I go to bed early, I get up at 6.30 in the morning, I never smoke, I don't drink, only a little uh, white wine sometimes, that's all. And well, I feel all right. But look at Caruso, he was throwing down that red wine, smoking those cigars. But he was a man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Will you sing? Yes, with pleasure. Oh, I can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lily Park. Three. 